free NFL picks. This is action here for Sunday, October 16th. I'm Tony T. with our NFL pick show here for Sunday action. We have all 14 games. Before we get into just a couple things, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free NFL picks are updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have college football. We have MLB and, of course, the NBA coming soon. So it's a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, like this video, give us that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit TonySpicks.com, our multi-capper site showcase top cappers in our industry. Click the link to the hot capper to get signed up to one of our long-term passes. The hot cappers like, uh, well, I'm the come off a good day yesterday, Tiffany. Ramon's been hot. Uh, also, too, uh, we'll look here at some of our NFL numbers. You'll okay, look at who's a great performers right now. Guys like Ben has been hot. Tiffany, Hollywood Sam, Ramon, Steam Crew as well. Get signed up to one of the long-term passes and uh, get uh, to them. You can also find free picks at the top of the page. Of course, our free picks on the drop-down menu. You can also come over to the uh, se section here where we have our best bets. East Capricorn can designate one best bet per day per sport. On, their, on the site. And of course, our $15 pick, each capper can designate one of their premium picks on their card as a $15 pick just to showcase their service to many, many of them have. And some of them will also showcase it, their best bet. So take a look and get a signed up as well. Three packs, popular sellers on our site. A really great value for you people out there, that three packs. So keep an eye on that one. All right, also our promo code, you can save 20% off all premium pick packages. When you use that promo code TONYT at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link in the description, then clicking the All Cappers tab to get signed up. Also, love to hear from you guys. Post your picks in the comments below. We are still looking for cappers to apply. Go to TonySpace.com footer section to submit your form and our podcast. Every pick in podcast form now over on Tony Picks on all the platforms. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Bengals and Saints NFL pick here for Sunday. Wide receiver T. Higgins, tight end Hertz and Hertz and a left tackle questionable for Cincinnati on offense. Defensively, their starters are healthy. The Saints and wide receivers Thomas and Landry are out. Olave questionable. Winston questionable, but Andy Dalton will get the start here. On defense, right corner Lattimore out with the left corner and safety questionable. Now Cincinnati moved to two and three after their 19 to 17 road defeat at Baltimore. Bengals gained only 291 yards running for 190, 101 yards and 21 carries in the, in the defeat. Pass defense was good, but Cincinnati allowed 155 yards rushing on 28 carries. Joe Burrow completed 68% uh, from the field in the loss for 6.3 yards per attempt. Now, New Orleans are now 3-2 after their 39-32 home win to Seattle. You know, the Saints, a season high, 438 yards in the win, running for 235 yards on 48 carries. New Orleans really struggled defensively, allowing over seven yards of carry on the ground with 245 yards passing on 25 passing attempts. Andy Dalton did complete 67% uh, of his passes in the win, 7.8 yards per attempt. On the season, Dalton, in his two starts, 69% completion rate, 8.1 yards per attempt. But prefer the play here of the Bengals' defense and, and a burrow here over Dalton in this one. Injuries to New Orleans receivers a key. Saints are giving up nearly three sacks a game, and Dalton may have to wait longer for receivers to get open with Thomas and Landry um, not out there running patterns. The player will be Cincinnati minus two and a half. Jaguars and Colts, NFL pick. This one goes off here on <clears throat> Sunday. Jacksonville receivers is Zay Jones and Marvin Jones out on defense. They're left and out with no tackle and linebacker questionable. Running backs Taylor and Hines out. Uh, look for look to, to third and four stringers to run the ball. Defensively, they are without a left tackle and, and a linebacker with the safety questionable. Now, Jacksonville fell to 3-2 and two after their 13-6 home defeat to Houston. Jaguars moved the ball for 422 yards with 136 rushing on 26 carries. The team struggled with 0-3 inside the red zone. They limited the uh, Texans to only 248 yards for the game. Trevor Lawrence, just 53% completions, two picks, and 6.1 yards per attempt. Drive stalled with 6 of 14 on third down. On the season, Lawrence, 62% completion rate, 6.8 yards per attempt. Indianapolis improved at 2 2 and 1 after their 12 9 road overtime win at Denver. Colts moved the football for only 306 yards, rushing for 106 on 26 carries. On defense, they allowed 250 passing yards on 39 attempts. Matt Ryan, 63% completions in the win with two picks and 6.1 yards per attempt. On the year, he's completing 65% of his passes, 7.1 yards per attempt. They converted only 4 of 16 on third down, but the defense held the Broncos to 2 of 15 on third down. 
Jaguars running backs healthy, and that is the key to this one. Colts allowing 4.2 sacks per game with 2.2 turnovers uh, a game as well, and really poor red zone execution. The player will be Jacksonville at plus the one and a half. Ravens and Giants NFL pick Sunday. Receiver Bateman out for Baltimore and a linebacker on defense as well. Giants receivers Galladay, Tony, and Shepard out. On defense, their left defensive end doubtful and right end questionable. Baltimore improved to 3 2 with their 19 17 home win in Cincinnati. Ravens posted 325 yards in the game. They ran for 155 on 28 carries. They limited the Bengals to 291 yards for the game, 190 passing on 35 attempts. Now, Lamar Jackson, just 59% completion rate, 5.4 yards per attempt. Now, season wide, Jackson, 64% completion, 7.2 yards per attempt. And New York improved to 4-1. They get that 27-22 win to Green Bay in, in, in England. Uh, Giants offense posted 338 yards, 125 rushing on 31 carries. You know, three rushing touchdowns in the game for New York. Now, the Giants limited the Packers uh, offense to just 301 yards, 207 passing on, th on 39 attempts. Daniel Jones did complete 78% of his passes for 8 yards per attempt. On the year, Jones, 67% completion rate, 6.4 yards per attempt. Really just can't ignore the fact the Ravens are allowing 398 yards a game with 5 yards per rush. New York's run game has been good. The player will beat the New York Giants at plus 6. Forty-nineers and Falcons, NFL pick. This one goes off on... Sunday left tackle out uh, for the 49ers with the guard questionable. Defensively, they're without a defensive tackle and safety. Nick Bosa is questionable. They lose defensive end Kinlaw and corner Emmanuel Mosley to IR. Falcons are without a running back Patterson and their tight end guard questionable. A uh, defensive linebacker is uh, questionable, and they do have a linebacker out in this one. San Francisco moved to 3-2 and two after their 37-15 road win at Carolina. A season high, 397 yards of offense with 153 rushing on 29 carries. They limited the Panthers' run game, allowed just allowed 244 yards passing on 42 attempts. Defense held that Carolina just 3 of 15 on third down. Jimmy Garoppolo completed 60% of his passes in the win with two touchdowns and 8.4 yards per attempt. He led the team to 4 of 4 inside the red zone. Season-wide numbers for Garoppolo, 61% completion rate, 8 yards per attempt. San Francisco stayed back east with travel not an issue in this back-to-back -back spot on the road. No Patterson huge in this spot against the 49ers defense, allowing just 249 yards a game. You know, the Falcons really struggling getting pressure on the quarterback. But the Falcons are giving up 393 yards a game, 4.6 yards per attempt to play here. San Francisco at minus the four and a half. Jets and Packers, NFL pick Sunday. Jets left tackle. A questionable with starters on defense healthy. Receiver Sammy Watkins remains out for the Packers. On defense, a linebacker was questionable. Jets improved to 3-2 and two after their 40-17 home win to Miami. A Jets a season low 322 yards with 135 rushing on 33 carries. On defense, they limited the Dolphins behind a backup quarterback to 295 yards with 158 passing on 34 attempts. Zach Wilson completed 67% in the win with 10 yards per attempt. In his two games, 56% completion rate, 8.1 yards per attempt. Green Bay fell to 3-2 and two after their 27-22 defeat in England to the New York Giants. Packers a season low 301 yards with 94 rushing on 20 carries. On defense, they did limit the Giants to 338 yards with three rushing touchdowns. Aaron uh, Rodgers here completed 64% of his passes with two touchdowns, but tied a season low with 5.7 yards per attempt. On the year, Rodgers 68% completion rate with a season low 6.9 yards per attempt. You know, the Jets' defense improved and Rodgers struggling getting in sync with his new receiving crew. Player will be New York Jets at plus the 7.5. Patriots and Browns, NFL pick Sunday. You know, quarterback Mac Jones questionable as are Damien Harris and receiver Myers. Wideout Nelson Aguilar questionable. Brown starters on, on offense healthy. On defense, defensive end Clowney and corner Ward out. New England 2-3 after their 29-0 home win to the Detroit Lions. Patriots moved the football for 364 yards with 176 rushing on 35 carries. Defensively, they limit the Lions to only 312 yards, 211 passing on 35 attempts. You know, media reports have Jones unlikely to play. Bailey Zappi completed 81% of his throws with a touchdown pick and, and 9 yards per attempt there in the win. On the season, Zappi 75% completions, 8 yards per attempt. Patriots, though, were 0-4 in the red zone and held the Lions to 0-3. New England, 3-9 on third down and held the Lions to 4-12. of 
Cleveland fell to two and three after their 30 to 28 home defeat to the LA Chargers. Browns a season high of 443 yards offensively with 213 on the ground on 31 attempts. They did surrender 465 yards to the Chargers with 238 rushing on 34 carries. And this was to a team that's been really struggling with their ground game. Jacoby Brissett completed 62% of his passes, 6.8 yards per attempt. Season wide this year, Brissett 64% completion rate. He's got 6.6 yards per attempt. You know, the Browns defense giving up 5.3 yards at carry and the performance defensively against the bad Chargers run game. The huge issue here, the play will be New England at plus the two and a half. Buccaneers and Steelers, NFL pick Sunday. Julio Jones questionable for Tampa Bay. On defense, they're without their defensive end. And linebacker and safety out. Steelers without their tight end on offense. And defense, Pittsburgh's without both corners and a safety. T.J. Watt still out. Tampa Bay 3-2 after their 21-15 home win to Atlanta. Buccaneers a season high. 420 yards of the win offensively. Uh, they ran for only 69 yards on 23 carries. Bucks limited the Falcons' passing game but surrendered 151 rushing yards on 31 carries. Tom Brady completed 67% of his passes in the win with the touchdowns and 6.8 yards per attempt. Brady this season completing 68%, 6.8 yards per attempt. Bucks up 21-0 after three, but then gave up 15 unanswered points in the final quarter. Tampa Bay did register five sacks and gave up none. Pittsburgh 1-4 with their 38-3 road defeat at Buffalo. Steelers defense was crushed in this game, giving up 552 yards, 432 passing on 36 attempts. Steelers, a run game generated only 54 yards on 17 carries. Rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett, 65% completion rate with a pick and 6.3 yards per attempt on the year. Pickett, 67% completions, four picks, 6.9 yards per attempt. Now the Steelers were 0-4 inside the red zone. How the Bills just won a four? Buccaneers averaging nearly four sacks per game. Pittsburgh offense averaging only 295 yards a game with 3.9 yards per attempt rushing the football. The player will be Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh under 46. Vikings and Dolphins, NFL pick Sunday. Vikings starters on offense and defense healthy. Tua out with running back Mostert, tight end and left tackle questionable. Dolphins healthy on defense. Minnesota 4-1 after their 29-22 home win. To the Chicago Bears, uh, Vikings moved the ball for 429 yards, 117 rushing on 31 carries. They did limit the Bears to 271 yards, and they put a lid on their strong run game. Kirk Cousins, the season high. 78% completion rate, 7.2 yards per attempt. On the season, Cousins, 66% completions, nine, uh, uh, with a nine-year nine season low here of 6.7 yards per attempt. The Vikings, 12 of 15 on third down in the win, and they were 4 of 4 inside the red zone. Now, Miami, they fell to 3 and 2 after their 40 to 17 road defeat at the Jets. Team moved the football for only 295 yards with 137 rushing on 26 carries. On defense, they held the Jets to 322 yards with 5 of 6 conversions inside the red zone. Teddy Bridgewater, he's healthy, but the Dolphins are looking to rookie Skylar Thompson here. So Kansas State rookie was a dual threat quarterback in his time in college. In relief last week, Thompson, 57% completions with a pick, but only 5 yards per attempt. Miami did have a minus 2 turnover margin. But the Vikings failed to cover both their road games this season, giving up an average of 486 yards with 4.8 yards per rush. Vikings offense on the road only averaging... 265 yards, 4.4 yards for pass attempt. You know, a dual threat for Thompson, the real wild card here. The player will be Miami at plus the three. Cardinals, Seahawks, NFL pick Sunday. Arizona running back James Conner is out. Their center questionable on defense. Nose tackle and corner questionable. Seahawks are running the back at Penny out. Wide receiver Goodwin questionable and their white guard questionable. On defense, the Seahawks have their nose tackle doubtful and a defensive end questionable. Arizona moved to 2-3 and three after their 20-17 home defeat to the Philadelphia Eagles. Cardinals moved the football for 363 yards with 124 rushing on 26 carries. They did limit the Eagles' ground attack and allowed 218 passing yards on 36 attempts. Kyler Murray completed 67% of his passes with 6 yards per attempt. On the season, Murray, Kira Lowe's here. 65% completions, 5.8 yards per attempt. Seattle dropped a 2-3 and three with their 39-32 road defeat at New Orleans. Seahawks in defeat did move the football for 396 yards, 151 on the ground on 21 carries, but Seattle really struggled defensively, allowing 438 yards, 235 rushing on 48 carries. 
Geno Smith completed 64% of his passes, three touchdowns, 11 yards per pass attempt, but the Seahawks were only one of nine on third down. Seahawks have a recent home four-point loss to Atlanta. Seattle defense is giving up 430 yards a game, five yards per rush, 8.6 yards per pass attempt. They didn't get much pressure on the quarterback. Cardinals have won and covered both road games play here Arizona at minus a two and a half. Panthers and Rams NFL pick Sunday. Baker Mayfield doubtful with Sam Donald out for Carolina. Wide receiver Anderson questionable. On defense, they have two linebackers questionable and a corner out. Rams center out with receiver Cup and tight end Higby questionable. Also out is running back Cam Akers. Aaron Donald questionable. Carolina fell to 1-4. With their 37-15 home defeat to San Francisco, Panthers offense generated only 308 yards with, 30, with 64 rushing on 17 carries. Defensively, Carolina struggled in run defense, allowing 153 yards on 29 carries, plus 4 of 4 in the red zone. P.J. Walker in 10 career appearances, 48% completion rate, 6.2 yards per attempt. In a relief of Mayfield last week, he was, uh, he was 5 of 6 for 60 yards, and uh, he let the Panthers uh, in this department just 3 of 15 on third down. Now, they did replace their head coach uh, in the in, insert uh, Steve Wilkes. And, of course, uh, P.J. Walker will get the start here as those both quarterbacks for Carolina out. But, boy, Carolina really staring at a third-string quarterback and averaging only 271 yards per game. But the Rams' offense has been struggling as well, just 299 yards a game, 3.2 yards per attempt on the ground. Rams giving up over four sacks a game. Play here will be L.A. Rams and Carolina under 41 and a half. Bills and Chiefs NFL pick Sunday. Buffalo starts healthy on both sides of the ball. Chiefs offensive starters healthy in a corner out. Buffalo 4-1 after their 38-3 home win to Pittsburgh. Bills piled up 552 yards in the win, 120 rushing on 18 carries. They allowed 364 yards to the Steelers, limiting their ground attack and giving up 310 passing yards on 52 attempts. Josh Allen, 54% completion rate in the win with a season high 13.7 yards per attempt. Allen season-wide, 67% completions, 8.3 yards per attempt, which also is career high. KC 4-1 after their 30-29 home win to Las Vegas Raiders. Chiefs 368 yards in victory, delivering 103 rushing on 23 carries. But on the defensive side, KC did allow 378 yards to the Raiders, 155 of them on the ground on 24 carries. Patrick Mahomes, 67% completions in the win with four touchdowns and 6.8 yards per attempt. You know, season wide looking here at uh, Mahomes, 66, 67% completion rate, 15 touchdowns, two picks, 7.4 yards per attempt. Strong red zone performance for KC going 4 of 4. Boy, these teams have high scoring history between these two uh, in the past few seasons. The player will be Buffalo and, K- and Kansas City over 54 points. Cowboys and Eagles, NFL pick here for Sunday. Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, questionable. Cowboys starters on defense, um, starters on defense, pretty healthy right now. Eagles starters on off offense and defense, healthy. Uh, Dallas moves to four and one after their twenty-two to ten road win at the L.A. Rams. Cowboys a season low two hundred and thirty-nine yards of the win. They didn't run the ball for one hundred and sixty-three yards on thirty-four carries. On defense, Dallas held the Rams to three hundred twenty-three yards, thirty-eight rushing on fifteen carries. Cooper Rush, the likely starter here. Rush in the win completed 62% of his passes, 6.4 yards per attempt on the season. Rush, 61% completion rate, and he has a 7.1 yards per attempt average here. Philadelphia, they're 5-0. They get the 20-17 road win at Arizona. Eagles, a season low, 357 yards. 139 of it rushing on 33 carries. Defensively, they allowed 124 rushing yards to the Cardinals with 220 uh, on 26 attempts. Jalen Hurts completed 72% of his passes in the game, but a season low of 6.6 yards per attempt. You know, the Eagles' defense has given up a, a five yards at carry on the ground. Dallas's defense, they really put fierce pressure on the quarterback, and they're averaging four sacks a game. Cowboys have covered eight straight against the division, 10 and 1 of the spread. Uh, their past 11 road games play here, Dallas at plus 6.5. That was our NFL Pick Show here for Sunday, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, set notifications. Visit TonySpeaks.com for our best bets, our premium picks over on the site. 
Uh, of course, remember all of, all of our picks are in podcast form. Check us out. Tony's Picks Podcast on, available on all major platforms. And don't forget our live show here on Sunday, 9 a.m. each time. Morning, Steve, Worth, Worth Ramon, and Mindy. We'll be back later with more picks.